I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Welcome back, Stingers. Pete Davison and Kim Kardashian split up. And I remember when they started dating, um, many of you guys were asking me what I thought about the relationship. I don't really do a lot of celebrity, you know, conversations, but of course, I will come on here and talk about things that are relevant, especially if when it comes to self-esteem and Scorpios and compatibility. And this was just an interesting couple. And I, I like to sit back and let things unravel. Some of you guys, you know, you jumped on and was like, look, 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 a Libra and a Scorpio. And typically it's such a terrible match. And for you Libras, get into my damn comments, <laughs> as you love to do. Talk about how you got a Scorpio husband, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear it. Okay. So Kim Kardashian is a Libra and with a Sag rising, luckily she has a Pisces moon. So I can see where the attraction is. Pete Davidson is a strong Scorpio. He's like a sun, a Mercury, a Venus, a Pluto. Like he's a heavy guy. He's a very deep individual. And what you guys see, I believe he has a Capricorn moon too. Serious. What you guys see with his comedy and things like that, you know, it's a it's a culmination of knowing how to play for the cameras. Um, you know, I've been on TV. I've been in several national commercials. I've been on a TV series. I understand what to do when the cameras come on. I get it. Okay. It's not something that's natural, something you learn. It's training. When you're in the public eye, you have a lot of training and, be, and it becomes automatic. You know, um, a lot of Scorpios that you see in the public, you know, you can't really believe that persona. You know, you just can't believe it. I don't believe it. I already know behind the scenes they're different. And so this is a guy who's heavy. Like, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that behind the scenes he's like fluffy and cracking jokes all day. That's bullshit. I don't think so. And, you know, I talk about this in my book actually all of my books, especially my new book, I'm Not Crazy, which I'll give you a release date soon. I talk about, you know, these facades we wear, these masks in order to fit in, in order to assimilate, in order to have these fake ass friends and these bullshit relationships. And I know because I've done them half my life, I've done it. I've done what Pete is doing. I've done what other Scorpio's are doing, you know, like a Katy Perry when she was with this Russell guy, you know, all these fluffy people, these Aries, and the, like, I've done that too, just for her to end up with somebody who's a damn Capricorn, somebody who could shut their mouth and sit home and be stable. Like, I get it. I understand that. I understand feeling like, fuck, I'm not going to find somebody. Let me just assimilate and deal with this bullshit. And on the inside, you either either want to shoot them secretly <laughs> or you just, you just want to run off. And a lot of you guys who are not Scorpios, you don't understand what this feels like. A lot of you are laying down with a Scorpio right now who's thinking about somebody else. They're fucking tired of you. They don't want you. They're sick of you. They don't, they're don't. they tired of the fluffy shit. They're tired of not being themselves. They're tired of you not understanding. They're tired of this over, uh, you know, um, compromising shit. They're tired. I know it. I, yeah, I can feel it through the computer. This is why I don't I don't participate in that ever. No, I don't. When people ask me, you compromise, you do. I don't do struggle at all, at all. That is my deep past. I will not do it. I don't care. I don't want the relationship. I don't want it. And so with Pete being so heavy, I get it. Gosh, I get it. Um, I know he was tired for nine months. You know, you got these fluffy people. He's dragged into the public. She's giggling. She's laughing. She needs all this fucking attention. Look at me. Look at me. We hate that. Hate in all capitals. Mm. Excuse me. I'm drinking apple juice. <laughs> we hate that so much. I remember being with somebody fluffy. Being on the subway and them trying to like, kiss me. That PDA shit. I went to punch him in the face I swear I wanted to just knock him out and I can't I can't stand it every time I think about it it just brings back horrible memories 
And so it's just like compatibility is so important. Being yourself in a relationship is so important. And not just for him. I'm not saying that, you know, there's anything wrong with wanting to play dress up and do all your fake stuff and be on camera. Like, it, that's Libra. They're ruled by Venus. They want to be seen. They want to be, you know, applauded. I don't see anything wrong with that. I really don't. You know, she was married to a Gemini who loved the same things. Loved being attention. Loved, you know, putting on the facade and prancing around and putting everybody in your business, you know? That's the one thing I know Pete was sick of. Everybody being in his damn business. We're very private people. And so you look at this. And you have two incompatible people. You know, he, she, she was on the rebound. She was in messy divorce. Oh, let me go with a young guy. This is fun. And young men, they love older women. It's, it's clout. It's a flex. I know it is. I got young men up in my face 24-7, 21 years old, 20, you know, all the, oh, I love older women, blah, blah, blah. They just want to brag to their friends. It's such a flex. And so I can see where he was coming from, you know. Um, now, TMZ reported, well, not only TMZ, but other outlets reported that they broke up over age or schedules. That's bullshit. They're incompatible. They're absolutely incompatible. She probably got tired of her attention horn shit. Let's wear matching outfits. It's like, what, how, like how old are we? Like, how old are you going to do that for? You're fucking over 40. Like, are you ever, are you going to be out there with a cane and gray hair still acting like that? You know what I mean? And I'm sure, you know, he will find someone calm Maybe he'll get a Capricorn, maybe he'll get another Scorpio girl, or maybe he'll get another Cancer girl who can shut her mouth and just chill out, you know, keep their shit private, be able to understand his his intensity, his moods, how he moves through life, and not have to do all this adjusting, you know? There's so many things that I notice within... Um, specific relationships when they get with Scorpios, you know, like one, one, one of the two have to make huge adjustments. And if they don't, it's a wrap. And he did the best he could. You know, she dragged him out in public, attention horn, PDA and shit. I know he fucking hates that. And he probably got tired of that shit. Tired of it. Um, one relationship where I know there was a lot of change was Ryan Gosling and Ava Mendez. Like before she was with him, she was telling all her business. You can go back and look at her interviews. She would always talk about her business. She was loud. She was like, blah, 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 blah. Honey, when she got with Ryan, she, you don't hear a peep out of her anymore, honey. He was not having that shit. He's so super private. And he's another one. He's Scorpio with Capricorn Moon. And I think he has a Pisces on a rising or maybe flip flop. But anyway, super private. You never see him out PDA, grabbing somebody's ass, matchy, matchy clothes, attention horn, never. And she had to cut that shit out when she got with him. Now she's quiet as a field mouse. You see it. Either one, one person changes or it's a rat. And and so with this, it's interesting that a lot of people got in my comments. <laughs> it was like, see, Libra, what do you think about this? Nothing. I'm going to sit. I'm going to squat. And I'm going to squat on her sister, too, because uh, her sister's with that Barker guy. And he's a little fluffy. I looked at his chart. You know, he has an Aries moon and, you know, Courtney is an Aries. But I'm just squatting on that. He's still a Scorpio. And I don't think that that's going to last very long. And mark my word, guys, mark my word. You know, I just hope for you guys, you Scorpios, that, you know, a lot of you, and I know this because you send me messages, you're in relationships where you're doing, trying to do all this contorting. And I'm telling you, it's a fucking waste of time. I'm just telling you guys that. I, I, I've I, done it. I don't come on this channel talking about things I have not done. 
I've done all this shit. I know what you're going through. I understand it. I refuse to do it as an adult. I refuse as a, as an involved individual who has broken myself down and rebuilt and I know who I am and I know what I want and I'm never confused about it. I refuse to do it. I don't get lonely and all the stuff you guys like you can't even sit with yourself. You can't even look at yourself. You can't even be with yourself. And then for some reason you think someone else wants to be with you. You know, like you can't stand yourself, but you're looking for somebody else, which is absolutely incredible. Um, but I don't have a problem being by myself. As a matter of fact, I'm sick of guys. <laughs> I've been dating a lot and I'm so fucking sick of looking at their faces. I'm sick of them talking to me. I'm sick of them trying to hold my hand. I'm just fucking tired of it. I need a break. I like being alone and I'm so happy to go to the movies by myself without anybody yapping and, and talking and trying to touch me and shit like that. So tired of it. So happy to be in my own company. Thrilled. Thrilled. And so, um, yeah, I knew this was a, I knew this was a rat. I knew it was. And so that's all I have to say about that, guys. A lot of you are in incompatible situations right now, sending me silly little emails, and I tell you the same old thing, get in the mirror, get in the mirror. And um, mark my word about that other relationship. You know, there's a lot of Scorpios out there with these fluffy people looking for excitement, and they, they finally look at themselves like, what the F am I doing? This is a hot mess. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'm going to be back talking about Omarion because you guys know that I am knee-deep in his new documentary called Omega, A Gift and a Curse. And I know he's been watching my YouTube channel because, uh, shout out to Omarion, I know you've been watching because in your documentary, all the stuff you talk about is such Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon language. I swear it's all the stuff that I talk about. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Um, and I would love for you to get your hands on my books. I'm gonna send them to um I'm gonna send them to his staff uh to make sure he gets me deep in all the things that I have to say in my books. Um I'm gonna be back talking about that, dissecting that. There's so many gems in there. And I'm gonna be on a Scorpio Sun Scorpio Moon podcast with an extend an extended video so I can really go in. And talk about all the things that I want to talk about. Um, I'll see you guys at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where you can get a master chart reading where I'll break down your whole chart and tell you who you're compatible with and why and who the hell to stay away from and stop wasting your time. I tell you about your superpowers, your challenges, how to overcome things, how to become great, right? Get in the mirror, become the best version of you so that you can attract amazing, amazing, right? You can book a, a personal live stream session with me if you want to go in just one-on-one -on -one, um, about anything you want to. Those are very limited, so if you see one available, just book it out, trust me, <laughs> trust me. I also have a new um, reading, which is Secrets Exposed, and I use three of my amazing tarot decks to decipher anything you want, a text message or a photograph, you send it to me, I will tell you why somebody cut you off, why you got ghosted, if they're coming back, if they got somebody else, with no problem, honey. I have amazing jewelry, I have incredible journal healing kits on my site, a lot of you have been waiting for for those and they're not coming back um, the ones that are sold out are just sold out so grab one while you can I have a book of shadows I write my dreams in mine I'm huge with journaling huge and uh, I've masks I've teas my jewelry is incredible all of the sale items are an additional 40% off by using the code real Scorpio I have nine amazing crash courses for you guys in case you want to know the basics of dating Scorpio how to avoid the chase Raising Scorpio children, how to get a Scorpio back, all of that in between. And I even have an amazing Affirmations MP3 for you to listen to at night. Because it's very important to 
um, breaking down your subconscious and rebuilding with new language, okay? With new language. What else is going on? I have some uh, exclusive videos on the site. And, uh, oh, if you're in New York City, you can pick up my paperback books at Umshanti Bookshop. They're on East 14th Street. It's an incredible shop. They have everything from astrology books to tarot decks. They have so many tarot decks. Oh my gosh. They have all of the stones that you need. I get my stones there. You guys know I carry onyx and rose quartz all the time. You can get um, all your sage, Palo Santo, amazing jewelry. You can get tarot card readings there. Also, if you're in Midtown, my books are at the uh, Quest Bookshop on East 53rd Street, another amazing shop. And um, I'm going to give you a release date soon for my newest book, I'm Not Crazy. I'm so excited to get this into your hands. So many gems. I'm just going in about gaslighting, about you know, finding your real voice, taking off the mask. And uh, what else is going on? I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and that's all I have. Yeah. <laughs>